Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day. Coming at you with 2020 Tops Archives Baseball 10 box. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Garza right here. Garza actually got the double last bond mojo. Picked up the Cubs and Twins with the last order. So thanks for that. And thanks everyone else, of course, for getting in on this action. Only uh, seven teams left in the next one. So it's in single digits if you want to run this back a little bit later tonight. I mean, we can probably, this is probably going to take about an hour or so. We can probably get another one lined up as soon as, uh, where's my knife? As soon as we're done with this one. So if you missed out here, grab your teams on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Slide this stack over here. This stack off the side here. You can see all the box on the top camera right there. They're not going anywhere. Here's what we got on the on the cover here. Two autographs per box on average. A lot of fun, quirky designs like we're used to in archives right here. Find one all new tops nickname mini poster box topper in each box. There you go. All the details on the back right there, too. Good luck, everybody. Doing all 10 boxes. There it is. Oh, that, these are kind of cool. There you go. So you got a little mini poster going your way. Nothing on the back. All right, that'll go to the Angels, obviously. That'll be for Matt. Stack those up right there. Can they be? I was just about to ask. TJ is saying those box toppers can be autographed as well, which would be awesome. So we'll look out for those in these boxes here. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so while I open these packs, what, what do we got here? We've got Phillies Red Sox playing in the background. Sox are up six to three in the top of the night. Sox looking to close it out. They're in Boston. Cardinals are up 9-1 to one on the Cubs in the top of the 7th in Chicago. Reds Royals just started. That's their first of two. Cardinals Cubs also first of two. Oh, I guess the 7th inning would be the last frame for the uh, for these double headers. And then no other, no other ball games happening. Baseball games, that is. So I might have to switch over to a basketball game at some point. What, what channel at today's? When? Which ESPN for basketball games today? I don't know what network they're on. TNT today. Uh, remember, all cards ship in archives. There's so many variations and so many different things that I guess it's hard to really argue that something there's a common card in here. They're all they're all unique. So everything ships. I'm sure there's a ton of variations here. Um, some may be obvious, some not as obvious, but everything will ship. So my apologies beforehand if I breeze by a variation. Holler at me if I if I skip like a really pricey one. I don't want to miss those. But that's why all cards ship. Cardboardconnection.com has an excellent variation guide that they continuously update. And so when you get these cards in the mail, actually by the time you get them in the mail, there, there may be a pretty, pretty complete variation guide that you can... Uh, that you can consult to see if any of your cards are indeed variations. 
There's little codes on the back of the card. I'll show you in a second. So if you look back here, there's this tiny little serial numbers right here. Kind of hard to see on camera, but in person you should be able to look at that and the last handful of digits will give you an idea of what, of uh, whether it's a variation or not. These are facsimile autographs. Right here, so they got some of those, they got some of that. These are pretty cool. There's Satis Jr. He's been having an excellent season this year. Like this newspaper style. <clears throat> and looks like we've got a purple border here. Is that different? Is there a number? These are pretty cool. And there's our first autograph, John Stearns. Red Sox win. There you go, uh, Sam with the Metropolitans. And I'm sure Tyler Brenner with the White Sox my guess is that these Luis Robert rookie cards are doing quite well on the secondary market. Christian wondering, uh, was Tatis wrong for swinging or should he have let the team have a chance of coming back? I don't think he was wrong for, I think he's getting in trouble because he ignored a sign. I want to say that was the that was the crux of it. Because I think his coach said, don't swing. It's like three and oh, just, just take. I think that's why he got in trouble. Now if it was like three and two or something like that, and you know he gets the go sign or whatever, and he hits a grand slam, no big deal. Uh, I don't think that's the end of the world. But I think that's why the Padres staff Padres manager was a little miffed and I'm sure the other side was miffed because they were you know they were just running up the score but <laughs> yeah the, the unwritten rules are kind of are kind of silly I'm going a little slow in the first box just because it's our first look at this. And the next boxes we'll we'll breeze through these a little more quickly so this break doesn't take a million a million years. Should be a second autograph in here somewhere. I like these posters or the poster style look. Nice McKay insert right there for TJ and the Rays. Is he getting called up this season? Possibly. to deal with this. This has a glossier front on it, as you can tell. It's Craig Biggio, Astros. That's for Adam Richards and the Strohs. Oh, I was getting nervous. I was like, where, where is that second auto? Oh, was there a number on the bottom right on that? It's kind of hidden right there. There it is. 51 out of 75. 
top load these a little bit later. Another uh, Mets autograph, Jerry Grote. I do not remember Jerry Grote, Sam, but there he is. Two-time All-Star. Oh, key figure in the Miracle Mets in 69. All right, that was box one. Now we can kind of speed things up a little bit here in box two. The poster is Mo. the second games of the double headers are about to start. Actually, the Reds Royals, no, started their first game of the double header. Cardinals Cubs are about to finish the first of their double header. I don't know, what else, what else is going on in baseball today? Right, Garz. Garz is saying, going back to the Tatis thing, they're not going to stop scoring runs. Uh, why, why give them even a chance to come back? Yeah, I think at the plate, I mean, this guy hits a home run. A guy hits a home run. I mean, this just happens, you know. But, like, I don't think you should be, if you're up, like, 10 runs, should you be, like, stealing bases? I, I mean, I wouldn't do that. I don't mind the Tatis thing, though. It happens. I think we do have an interesting start today. Tigers, White Sox. Dust off your Casey Mize Bowman draft cards. The number one overall pick is making his MLB debut tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock Eastern. Tigers at White Sox, Casey Mize making his debut. This could be the next Justin Verlander for the Tigers is what they're hoping. The 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 core part of their rebuild. Well, the Tigers are 9 and 12. They're not doing too bad. It's a little under 500. But if the uh, Casey Mize has a nice start and, you've, and you're sitting on some Casey Mize cards. Yeah, Tyler Brand's like, I hope he's our next Justin Verlander. That'd be ideal. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this too, by the way. Should have said that in the first box. quickly now. Now again, all card ship, when you get these, I would double check the serial number on the back and compare it with the variation guide on CardboardConnection.com just to see if there's any variations here. Don't know. Yeah, he did. He, I, yeah, I don't know if he's done that though. We got Maurizio Dubon, ninety nine for the Giants. That'll be for Eric Leal. Autograph is Ralph Gar. Ever remember Ralph Gar, old brave? John McCall. 
with the Bravos. I do not remember him. But he was known as the Roadrunner. Back in the day when people still stole bases. Tyler Brayer is saying, Casey Mize is our first draft pick. He better do something for us. What's the expectation? I thought he was still a year away. But maybe I was wrong on that. Hey, there's Dave Martinez. World Series champ, Josh Pruce, Nationals. Nice. So that was our second autograph. Let's see if we have any more numbered cards or parallels or anything like that. There's Bo Jackson on the back right there. Next box. Yeah, Tyler also thought he was about a year out as well. Well, I guess he's not getting, I keep forgetting about these. There's Red Sox, Chris Sale. They're blank on the back, in case you're wondering. Some of them could be autographed. But I guess there's no minor league season, Tyler, so maybe that's why they're just like, well, let's just give them a start. Sharp, a sharp or not? Hmm? Sharp? Sharp. No, oh, yeah, really cool. I like the posters. It's hard. It's hard to tell. I mean, I think I basically have to look at the. Yeah, there's that really short print one. I guess the one where the you know the names backwards. Oh, okay. So that would be kind of obvious. Washington right there, like on Because I have the variation guide. I should have that. I think the short prints are kind of hard to get, but they're. They're kind of hard to get like that. I mean, what's the? the yeah, it's kind of hard to tell the, the difference between that. We really have to code, just look I at the code. The yeah, code just have to look at the codes. Yeah. But you I guess the if one? there's if there's like reverse. Yeah, the, you see that one. So I, I didn't even know this, but I guess in '74 or whatever year it was, if you scroll down, yeah, they're. I guess the Padres are gonna go to Washington. What? So they have a variation where I guess they made a card right there. Like they, they oh, the it Chris Paddock one. And then it's Washington. But we're still gonna give it to the Padres. But that's a. Oh, but it says right. but it says Washington yeah. still goes to the Padres. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of cool. Why did they do that? Because I guess in '74 they were gonna, the Padres were gonna move to to, uh, oh. to Washington. All right, it's cra kind of crazy. All right, so yeah, there's all sorts of variations. I think there's somewhere like the names are, I don't know. Some of them will be obvious. Like if it's right on the front of the card, some of them will be kind of obvious. Some of them are tougher. But here's here's the variation guide again in the chat if you're just joining us. All right, this is box three of ten. Good luck, everybody. So Tyler's saying that there was talk that Casey Mize was going to come up last year, mid-August, but we weren't in the hunt for the title, so they just they just left him down. What are we expecting from Casey Mize, Tyler Brown? What kind of pitcher is he? Give us a, a, a brief like scouting report. I think he's like he's a classic power pitcher, maybe. Expecting a lot. I mean, like I guess Justin Verlander might be what we're hoping for, like we said before. Yeah, Tyler's thinking maybe eventually, eventually, fifteen to seventeen win guy, a season. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, Garza, yes, we do sell singles. I don't think we have a big selection available for curbside right now, but eventually I think we're going to be, we're planning on reopening September to the public with all the usual mask stuff and probably gloves if people are handling singles. 
but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be opening responsibly. But yeah, we will have singles for sale in the shop, and eventually, I think we're working on getting um, some singles available online as well on jaspies.com. You know what? I I wasn't really paying attention either, Tyler. Let me look. I I've, I've got the scores up right now. Uh, no, Twins did not end up blowing it. So late yesterday, folks, if you were watching, Kenta Maeda took a no hitter through eight innings, and then he gave up a hit in the top of the ninth. Bot top of the ninth? Bottom of the ninth? Top of the ninth. Twins are at home. So then he gave up a hit, and they turned it over to the bullpen, and the bullpen just proceeded to melt down. They gave up runs. The Brewers tied it up. Brewers tied it up, and then, uh, but eventually the Twins won in the 12th, 4-3. So that Maeda performance was not wasted. It almost was. They made it exciting. <laughs> Ooh, nice Mike Trout here, 24 out of 175. Going to the Angels, that'll be for Matthew. And I remember, do you remember Lonnie Smith? I got vague memories of Lonnie Smith. John McCall with the Braves. Nice autograph there. Yeah, he was around for a while. That's our first of two autographs. Remember, all cards ship, so you'll be getting everything here. I know I'm going a little quickly through here, but kind of a long break. We've got to move. Do you want to save those Luis Roberts? It's like our second or third one. For, uh, for Tyler Brenner and the White Sox. I'm sure all of these add up, Tyler. Pat, what's going on? How are you? Evan says six left in the other new release. Yeah, let's fill that up too. And we still have another 30, 40 minutes to go on this one, so maybe a little bit less. I'm moving a little more quickly now. But yeah, um, So by the time we're done with this, we can probably have another... There's another archives in single digits. That ult ultimate collection I could definitely do. Because nothing else is sold out after this. So it is, uh, it is viewer's choice. Whatever sells out first will break next. That's 67 out of 99. H is for homers. Hoskins and Harper. Yeah, they've got, they've got a lot of homers in between them. I'm going to save a Kyle Lewis here. And there's Bob Walk for the Pirates. Everyone remember Bob Walk? Jason Price has the Pirates. Do you remember Bob Walk? How many walks did he actually give up? It's kind of a lot of walks, isn't it? Anyway, there's Bob Walk living up to his name to 150 on that one. Josh Proust of the Mariners. Facsimile autograph, but we'll see. And this is numbered right here. This is for the Phillies, Jordan White. Next box. Ooh. These posters are kind of cool, actually. Pick up the pace a little bit here. What other games are happening here? No, no other baseball games? All late games? Yeah, no, 
Nothing really happening. Blue Jays beat the Orioles. 5-2. Bird on, bird on bird action. Any, any crazy MLB news? Uh-oh, what happened to Jordan Alvarez? Dusty Baker saying Jordan could miss the rest of the season. Knee troubles. All right, maybe he's young. Better safe than sorry, I guess. I mean, it is essentially an exhibition season anyway. Oh, that's right. Kirby Yates likely to undergo season-ending elbow surgery. That's rough. Rough times for Kirby Yates. Um, dust off your Christian Pash Bowman draft cards or Bowman baseball cards, whatever, whichever one he's in. Because he's getting promoted by the Braves. They're going to give him some work. That's good. Acuna Jr. on the 10-day IL. DJ LeMahieu on the 10-day IL. Strasburg on the IL. Cardinals promoting Dylan Carlson. That was a little bit ago. Huge news for the Mariners. They got Jimmy Yacobonis. They've acquired non-rostered right-hander Jimmy Yacobonis for the Padres in exchange for cash. Nick Senzel on the I.L. Uh-oh, Nate Blue Jays Nate Pearson on IL due to elbow tightness. That's not good. Dane Dunning being promoted by the White Sox. They got some Dane Dunning stuff. And Elias Diaz placed on restricted list after violating protocol. What were you doing? Apparently Elias Diaz, rookie Rockies catcher Elias Diaz, sent home to Denver after violating COVID-19 protocols around the team hotel in Houston. Unspecified. All right, next box. Jet checking in, saying Tatis is the future MVP. Kind of a non sequitur, but I I agree. I think he I think he could be. Should be at some point. I think he can put it all together. Duke Snyder, the Duke of Flatbush. I guess that's where Ebbets was. I think in Brooklyn, I want to say that though there's still a wall that exists from Ebbets, just one wall. We got Wilson Contreras. Light blue to 25, nice low number. And that's for the Cubs, that was a late pickup by Garza. And there's Wilson Contreras, 25. Five out of 25 on that one. And it's another Dave Martinez autograph, but different parallel? Or was the other one had that teal blue? No, I think the other one was a Purple border. This is a teal border. Turquoise border. There you go. Josh Proust with the Nets. Oh, and we 
we've got a gray border here. George Kell, 99. Old Tiger going to Scott R. And there's Sean Green. Nice. Sean Green, Dodgers edition, going to Ryan Gamsby and my Dodgers. Nice. Everything's worth something, Jet. Remember that monster four home run game Sean Green had? Against the Brewers, maybe? Next box. Big Boppy. That's pretty cool. Look how big he is. <laughs> All right. I'm definitely a fan of those posters. That's how are we doing on time? All right. I'm on track. I'm on track. Next box. There's no other bait, no, nothing really baseball related happening at the moment. There's no games on. The game, a, lot, a lot of games already haven't even started yet. It's still too early. Am I switching over to, to basketball? I think so. I know this is a baseball break, but we do have playoff basketball happening. There you go. Jazz versus Nuggets. Who does everyone have in this game? We're at the third quarter. 8.26 left in the third. Utah up 69-54 to 54 on Denver. a lot of game left here. Do I have any picks for this game? I know. I think I like Denver to take this series, though. I had Brooklyn plus 11. I think they covered. I actually have Utah plus 4 tonight. Boston minus 4.5. And, and I like Dallas plus 6.5 tonight. Only 12 points for Donovan Mitchell tonight. After that near 60 point explosion. Was it 57 or something like that? Game 1? Good luck, everybody. And you those are just facsimile autographs. Does that look different? Right, don't all these have blue? Blue or red, right? Black's different? Eugenio Suarez going to John McCall and the Reds. With a black banner on the bottom. Right? I think everything else is red or blue. Right? Good eye, Joe. Good eye. Into Maeda. What a performance from him yesterday. Or maybe there's maybe all the reds are black then? 
I don't even notice that. Maybe bad eye. Bad eye, Joe. There's Mo. To 75. Is it all the reds that are? Oh, no. Giants are black border, so maybe that was wrong. Sorry, John. I guess I just didn't notice that before. Are they all different colors? Oh, that one's light blue over there. Never mind. I wanted to spot a variation real bad. There's Bernie Carbo. I remember Bernie Carbo. Red Sox, Jeffrey. Remember Bernie Carbo? They used to call him the. Uh, they used to call him the carburetor because of the because of his motor. I'm kidding. I, I, I don't think they call him the carburetor. I just made that up. Utah opening up the lead 81 to 65. There you go, yeah, he's pretty good. And Turner to 25. Nice. Ryan Gansby has my Dodgers. They're in Seattle. Yeah, this, this is classically always base heavy, Pat. Although... They're all kind of different cards, right? They're all cons almost considered all inserts. Got a little, folded this into the box incorrectly, but there you go, the Dodgers. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cards in, the, in archives traditionally. But yeah, very, Josh is right, variations are, are what we're looking for here. In fact, if you're just joining us, here's the variation guide in the chat. Oh, nice Mike Tower. Carbo also sold bottled water so you could carbo hydrate. Or would you be selling pasta for carbohydrates? Well, we'll workshop that one. But I like where your head's at, Mike Tower. They normally archive features a handful of variation from each subset and then a special parallel to the subset. This year is a little different. Just like in 2019, the total includes a 10 main super short print option. However, they awkwardly break down to five cards from 1995, four in 1974, and one from 2002. The listed hobby odds for these cards is one out of every 265 packs. So the, yeah, re read that read that variation guy. There's all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, got about another 30 minutes to go here, folks. So bear with me. Thanks for getting into the action. We got more archives in the store. We can do another case of this. I think last last check there was only. Still seven teams left in a full caser. Anything else sell out? No one's no one mentioned anything in the chat, so maybe not. But keep your orders going, ladies and gentlemen. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.
Saving all those Luis Roberts for Tyler Brenner. Maybe we'll find his autograph at some point. Still have a lot of, lot of boxes to go. Sean Murphy to 175 for the A's. That's going to be for Oakland, Joe M. Nice Sandman. There's an autograph, another Red Sox autograph, Rich Gedman. Red Sox, Jeff S. with the Sox. There's that Washington parallel. Yeah. And there's a Ray Durham. Remember Ray Durham for the White Sox? That goes to Tyler Brenner. So Chris Paddock is a big variation there. Can we learn about it a little bit here? No, yeah, that's just... The one with San Diego on there is the 1974 base. And this is the National League variation. I don't know how short printed this is at a glance, but but it isn't. Yeah, it is interesting. I think Scherzer has one too. Washington that are flipped to San Diego. Josh saying they are short printed. Do, do we have odds on these? No, there's just too much. I can't see it at a glance. Too much going on here. But they are short printed. Here's a mini right here. I think these are short printed as well. AJ Puck, Joe M with that. Nice, this is a pretty sweet box here. By the way, that was, once again, Jeff S. had that Chris Paddock, San Diego, Washington variation. He has the Padres. All right, next box. And we've got Hammer and Hank Aaron for the Braves. John McCall. All right, good luck. Another couple autographs. We've got two, four, six, eight autos remaining in this break. I haven't really seen a big earth-shattering autograph yet, so maybe we're maybe we're due.
Dust off your Donovan Mitchell cards. 57 points in game one and just knocking down some clutch shots here in game two. Posters go to team owners? Uh, yes, yeah, where, where else would they go, Pat? To Pat Lynch, maybe? Yeah, they obviously go to the they obviously go to the the teams that they that are represented on the poster. Nowhere else, nowhere else that they could go. Nico Horner, Gray, Border to 99. Cubs, Garza. Showtime. And, ooh, nice Kesson Hira autograph. It's a strong one for the Brew Crew. That will be for Ryan Redmond and the Milwaukee Brewers. There you go, Ryan. Seventy-five out of one hundred and fifty, a nineteen sixty tops rookie all stars autograph. Some sort of red border back there. It's Catfish Hunter, red border, 70 out of 75 with that facsimile autograph there. Great mustache. Joe M. That we'll probably put him on the Jaspies All Mustache team. I have to actually have to probably create a spreadsheet for that Jaspies All Mustache team so we can keep track. And we got Kevin Bass. Astros, that'll be for Adam Richards. I kind of remember Kevin Bass. He's from, he's from the LA area. Born in Northern California. No, actually that's Northern, Menlo Park, also Northern California. Northern California guy. So the variation of this would say San Diego for that Scherzer. Josh Bell, and there's San Diego regular Chris Paddock. Is that Jordan use official now, Jet saying? And well, hopefully he'll recover soon and be ready for the real baseball season next year. <laughs> Mr. Smile, I like that. Indians with that one. Kevin S., Next set.
Utah 101, Denver 77 with a minute left in the third. Nuggets have a, one chance. They're going to have to turn things around right now. One oh one to seventy seven. Forty seconds left in the third quarter. Yeah, Denver's getting wrecked. Well they gotta stop that guy. If they can't stop that guy. Donovan Mitchell with another three. One oh four seventy nine. There's not much Denver can do at this point unless Utah just falls apart. But I think at this point, if you're the coach, Denver, you just got to say, you know what? It's a brand new, brand new game. Let's just try to win the fourth quarter. You know, try to win the fourth quarter and maybe you get lucky. All right, there is... Um, old Cleveland Indian, Lou Boudreau. Mini. That will be for Kevin. Kind of look, looks like a Cincinnati C, doesn't it? I was, I was tripped up for a second. And we got Tom Hankey, Blue Jays. What year is this Tops? You guys know 1984? I do have that right above my shoulder. That's a big Tops chart right there. Six, I, 86, it looks like. And we've got, out of 175, RIP. Tony Gwynn, gone too soon. It's kind of hard to see the uh, the black text against the purple, but there you go. That will be for Jeff and the Padres. And we got Placido Polanco. Isn't that the name of one of the three tenors? That goes to Jordan White and the Phillies. 20 out of 99. Yeah, he was, he was with the Phillies a couple different times there. They trade Clevenger? I don't think the Indians are too happy with him and Zach Plesak for violating team safety protocols. And then I heard some rumblings that maybe they'll just, this sort of weird season, they'll just unload them and add some, add some prospects, add some players. It's Thurman Munson, nice. Maybe even move Lindor. Maybe kind of rebuild that team. I 
Is there a copyright violation here? Jordan Alvarez, Air Jordan? No? You think Mike is Michael Jordan's just like, eh, a little too close for comfort? Unless he's a Jordan brand guy? Maybe he is, I don't know. Second to last box. Kind of hard to get my finger under that lip there. There he is. Jokic lose weight? He did, right? I'm looking at him at the free throw line right here. Yeah. He was, I'm, he's at the free throw line. I was like, he looks... Looks, looks a little trim. And, yeah, maybe more definition in those arms. Good for you, Jokic. Maybe maybe send uh, maybe send Zion your, your, your nutrition plan. Jordan Clarkson with 24 points for the Jazz. Wow. Utah 110. Denver 79. Good luck, everybody. We'll do a quick autograph recap at the end of this. Not Carlton Fisk. Thirteen out of twenty-five. I like that baby blue sort of border there. And there's Glaber Torres. Nice. And that nineteen, another eighties design, I think. Stacy with the Yanks. Glaber Day. It's a White Sox edition. That'll be for Tyler Brenner. It is high. It is far. It is out of here. Like a good glaber, Torres is there. So how is it? And we've got a red Anthony K. That's to 75. Huh? And that always makes me think it's going to be an out of 10 or an out of 5 or something like that. 
but it's not a 75. Bluebirds, that's going to go to Max and the Blue Jays. That Glaber was 1989 design, Mike Towers confirming. There we go. And behind Larry Doby is Bob Wick Wickman. Bob Wickman for the Tribe. That's going to be Kevin has the Cleveland Indians. There you go. He had a big, long career. All right. We made it. Final box. Good luck. El Mago, Javier Baez. Nice, these are pretty cool. Next half of this box. Jazz, jazz are just, just doing whatever they want. Jordan Clarkson, 26 points for Jordan Clarkson. Still like eight minutes left in this game. Nine and a half minutes left in this game. Michael Porter Jr. has 21 points. It's a good stat line for him. I think he's that X factor. If Michael Porter Jr. can heat up. There you go. Steal in a bucket. Michael Porter Jr. Still need two autographs here. See another red border peeking. It's Ryan Sandberg, 75. Rhino, look at that hair. Some good show hair there. That is for Garza and the Cubs. And it's Blue Moon Odom for the A's. Old Blue Moon Odom. That is for Joe and the A's. What a name. Nicknamed by a fifth grade classmate. Nice. I like that.
Frank Thomas to 175 for Tyler and the White Sox. Be one more auto. I like that polar bear poster. There it is. It's Charlie Manuel, old Philly manager. And that'll go to Jordan White and the Fighting Phils. There it is. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 10 box. Pick your team number one, 2020 Tops Archives Baseball. So here's a quick autograph and low numbered card recap and a couple variations here. Not bad, nice Keston here, a couple minis, that Washington parallel, National League. Some Luis Robert rookie cards, some out of 25, Sean Green. Some old school designs, sparking that nostalgia. Right there, and there you go. Thanks for watching, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's more in the store and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.